Hi everybody, I'm back and uh, I'd like to start by apologising for not having videos up for a little while but with the combination of updates and corrupted saves I kept losing everything so I'm just showing you very briefly one of the bases that I spent about two weeks building I call it Skyrider City and I almost had it finished and then we had a corrupted file on the server and I lost everything and it kind of killed my enthusiasm for building however the no clip um, mechanic that has now been added allowing us to put foundations deep into the floor and other fantastic things has reinvigorated my enthusiasm for building on arc so here we go again uh, on today's video I'm going to show you how to do gradual steps into a building okay so we start off with a foundation surprise surprise pillar in the middle and that will drop the next foundation down a single step and now we do a foundation to the side we want that middle foundation to go down by two steps so we destroy it do the pillar trick again and it's dropped by two steps so you leave this foundation for a second because you want that height of a snap point to stay and you put your next pillar on the edge in the middle and this will now let the next foundation stay at that height and snap halfway through your foundation that's lowered twice yes i absolutely love this um structure clipping mechanic on the game congratulations wild card fantastic idea so we now need the next foundation to drop twice as you'll see i do make a few little mistakes as i do this because i'm still trying to work this all out as i go along i only just discovered this i haven't tested it to destruction like I have a lot of my building techniques and that's now dropped down to the second snap point I want sometimes you just have to go out to the side away from your structure to get far enough away and get the right snap point as I've done there and there we go I've just placed that on the halfway point and it should yes so you always remember to try to keep up your different snap points until you've finished using them. So I don't need that anymore. That can go. Don't need that anymore. And I don't need this one. So I now snap the next foundation to the lowest point there. Drop the foundation by one go out to the side to get it away from all the snap points because it does confuse the snap point mechanics when you start overlapping that is now dropped down by two they can be destroyed that's my final step as you can see here I destroyed the wrong height of foundation because I'm not getting the snap point in the place I want so I have to recreate that snap point so I'll just destroy those nope not pillar it back I want that pillar in the middle and now that's the snap point I should have left now I put the pillar on the edge of the foundations press the back or select button to cycle through your snap points and that's your final step so there we go I've got the steps which will go up the middle of the entrance way and that there you now see why I hate it when Ark does that to me so now you see why I kept that very first foundation because this gives the raised area for the height that I would continue building on if I was doing a full build and not just a tutorial. So 
So there we go, you can just place these foundations at the highest snap point now. Press the back button or select to cycle through and there we have the steps for the entrance to my structure. How cool! Okay, so we have the steps completed there. Just to show you what it would look like on the front of a base, I should do a quick entrance. So, just to help me visualise the centre of where the steps are, I destroy the foundation. And then try to line those up as central as possible. Replace the foundation. Now at this point I want to place pillars to narrow the doorway. And it will only let me snap the pillar to the centre to get round that fence foundation. We we'll create a new snap point either side. And with the no clipping, you can now clip these through the um, dino gates without any issues and without the pieces turning red. So there we go. And now we just start placing the walls. As this is the entrance, I want the wood on the inside, so I'll do the wall again, press the Y button or triangle to rotate the building piece. So, quickly throw the walls up. Same on the other side. Not forgetting to hit the Y or triangle button just to flip it around. Now you can't place a, seat, a, a wall there so the solution which I always let slip is ceilings. So you just snap your ceilings to the top of the walls, go over the gap where you can't place the ceiling and then you hang it down. So that's all looking quite good. Now previously I would have had a problem placing the gate without having this no clip function on. And I can now start putting some torches. Oh, oh fantastic. Now previously, until that update, you couldn't place torches onto those behemoth gates. Yeah, that's that wants to snap to the behemoth gate. That's brilliant. Oh, so as I've got the fly command on, because it's on my private world, I can place one right at the centre. Oh, fantastic. So now I'll just get everything lit up, just to show you how it would look. I'm quite rapidly discovering several new techniques, so there will be more videos about this no-clip method. When you load your game up, go onto your settings menu and it's one of the tick boxes right near the bottom of the left hand tab as you set up your game options. So finally I'll just switch it to night time so you can see how it would look all lit up. Now this did take me a little while to type the command in because I dropped the joypad as I was recording. <laughs> there we go, set time of day to midnight. That's how it looks at night. Lovely. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it.